Kumusta at magandang araw sa mga kapwa ko OFW all over the world. Welcome sa aking YouTube channel Arnold TV. Kaya naman kung bago ka palang dito ay mag-subscribe ka na at mag-share at like, pindutin mo na din ang bell icon para updated ka sa mga videos na aking i-upload. Kaya naman simulan na natin ito after this intro. naman may kakaayla na halos lahat tayo ay gustong yumaman. Pero papaano nga ba at papaano ito magkakatotoo kaya naman panuhurin at tapusin ang video na ito at sigurado ako na baka ikaw na ang susunod na magiging milyonaryo. Alam mo ba na may halos 62.5 million millionaires sa buong mundo at hindi rin kapanipaniwala na karamihan sa kanila ay hindi pinanganak na mayaman. In fact, 79% sa kanila ay walang minanang yaman sa kanilang mga magulang. Paano sila naging milyonaryo pa mo? They made those billions by sticking to a few smart habits na pwede mo rin gawin. Tignan mo na lang itong isang trending na kwento ni Ronald Reed na isang regular gas station attendant at janitor. Despite being a regular employee, he amassed a whopping $8 million. In fact, hindi nga alam ng mga nakakakilala sa kanya na mayaman pala tong si Ronald. Hindi pa naman ako sobrang yaman at hindi pa naman ako isang multimillionaire. Sa ngayon, <laughs> syempre, let's claim it! Gusto kong pag-usapan natin for today's video na hindi mo kailangan maging sikat na artista o athlete o isang business tycoon para yumaman. I wanna share 5 simple habits na ginagawa ni Ronald Reed at marami mga self-made millionaire sa mundo to achieve financial success. Kung handa ka ng matuto, let's start! Number 1. Understand the meaning of cash flow. Paano ba magkaroon ng cash flow? It's simple. Spending less than you earn. Example, sumasahod ka ng 20,000 pesos at ang expenses mo naman ay 10,000 pesos. Yung natirang pera is your cash flow that you can use for savings and investing. And here's the important part. The bigger the gap between your income and expenses, the faster you can achieve financial success and retirement. Unfortunately, ang mga Filipinos is at the bottom bracket kapag pinag-uusapan na ang average savings at retirement funds in the Asian region. Kaya marami sa ating mga kabayan ang kamot ulo kapag malapit na mag-retire dahil hindi natin alam kung saan kukuha ng pera for a comfortable retirement plan. That's the reason at kung bakit ako strong believer na financial education ang magliligtas sa ating mga Pilipino. Sa aking mga kabayan, ang unang step, please don't forget to spend less than you earn pero huwag po kayong mag-alala dahil i-explain ko dito sa ating video kung paano ka makakapag-retire ng maayos kahit mababa lang ang iyong sahod at by investing a small amount every month. So, it turns out na itong next habit na ito ay ginagawa ng maraming mga millionaires. Number 2. Follow the 50-30-20 rule. I'm pretty sure na marami na ang nakarinig ng rule na ito. Pero marami pa rin ang hindi gumagawa nito. This is quite simple. Base sa iyong monthly income, 50% ng iyong sahod ang iaalat mo for your expenses like housing, food, transportation. 30% ang mapupunta naman for your budget for eating out, vacations, pang shopping, all the fun stuff. And the important part, 20% goes to your savings and investing. But looking at reality, Most of Filipinos spend 80 to 90% of their income. Yung iba, 100% ng kanilang income ang ginagastos. May iba pa rin naman ang ginagastos lahat ng sahod, tapos uutang pa sa iba. So I'll ask you guys, what do you value more? Becoming a millionaire at magkaroon ng freedom later in our life? O mag-enjoy at gumastos ng gumastos ngayon dahil YOLO tayo ng YOLO. Kung ikaw yung tao na konti walang naitatabing pera for savings and investing, I think it's the best time for you to do a self-audit. Ask yourself, do I know where my money is going? Kung hindi, ilista mo lahat sa isang papel ng mga gastusin mo o kaya naman marami mga budgeting apps na pwede mong gamitin 
to keep track of your expenses. Once na nalista mo na ang iyong mga expenses, you can start identifying yung mga pwede mong iwasan o bawasan para makatipid. This method won't actually get you to be a millionaire right away. But this is a great place to start, lalo na kapag ikaw ay low income pa lamang. I know raising your salary or income is more important, pero ang pagkat ng iyong expenses ang pwede-pwede mong gawin ngayon. So ano ba ang mga pwede mong gawin to cut down your expenses? I-cancel mo na yung mga subscriptions mo na hindi mo naman talaga ginagamit. If you're a coffee lover, iwasan na ang Starbucks. Start making coffee at home. Sa 3-in-1 muna tayo kaibigan. Kung madalas ka kumain sa labas dahil hindi ka marunong magluto, Start studying how to cook para sa bahay ka na kumain. Ito pong next, napaka-importante. Tigilan na ang impulse buying sa Shopee at Lazada ng mga bagay-bagay na hindi mo naman talaga kailangan. Now, by cutting your expenses, yung pera na natipid mo, it's really important to actually put that money to work. Pwede mong ilagay ang pera mo sa isang high interest savings account. Pwede mo rin itabi ang pera mo for an emergency fund. Or you can start investing possibly on pag-ibig MP2 or stocks. Just remember to make your money work for you. Huwag mo nang antayin at isipin na sa ako na iisipin mag-save o mag-invest kapag malaki ng sahod ko. It's super important to start saving and investing as soon as possible. Number three, magkaroon ng wealthy mindset. Oh, dito yung advice na dapat isipin mo parati ay pera para magkaroon ka ng wealthy mindset. Or yung think about money and you attract it. Hindi po ito ganun. Meron mga actual habits na maaari mong gawin to develop a wealthy mindset. Ano ba mga to? Una lang naman is gratitude. Be thankful kung ano meron ka sa ngayon. Be thankful that you're still living. Be thankful na meron kang cellphone or tablet or computer na ginagamit para mapanood ang video na ito. Just be thankful. You have to realize that you don't need to own a lot of stuff. Drive the most amazing cars or have the biggest house to be happy. Yan ang sikreto ng mga taong super happy sa kanilang buhay na mga namit ko. Pangalawa, think long term. Sa panahon ngayon, nasanay na tayo sa instant gratification. Yung mga bagay na gusto mo, isang click mo lang. Maya-maya, andyan na na nandeliver na sa harap ng pinto mo. Kahit wala kang ang pera, gamitin mo lang credit card mo, then mamaya mo lang bayaran. Why am I explaining this? Because gusto natin madalian na lang. Gusto natin kapag may gusto tayo, dapat instant. Dapat andyan agad. Kaya kapag may plan tayo to become rich, we're so impatient at madaling sumuko kapag nagkaroon ng problema. Remember guys, if you want to become rich at maging financially free, It's a long-term process. Kaya thinking long-term is the answer. Warren Buffett is the perfect example for this. He invested noong bata pa siya and thinks long-term. And now, he's enjoying all the sacrifices he made earlier. Patlo, value the importance of education. Hindi lang dapat natatapos sa high school or college ang pag-aaral natin. We need to keep consuming knowledge na makakatulong sa ating financial well-being. I spent hours and hours reading books, watching videos on YouTube, or listening to financial advisors on Spotify to develop a wealthy mindset. Try doing this, Kaibigan, and I can assure it will literally change your life. Ang apat, value time over money. Alam nyo ba na ang mga mayayaman, they really value their time? Dali lang masabi ng mga mayayaman yan. Marami na silang pera eh. Okay, I get your point. But you have to understand the value of time kung gusto mong maging milyonaryo. Example nila sa trabaho, na-promote ka at tumaas ang sahod mo which is good. But as you level up with your career at pataas ng pataas ang income mo, you just work and work and more work. Nakakalimutan mo nang i-enjoy yung pera na pinaghirapan mo. That's why we have to find different ways para kumita ng passive income o mga Jobs na hindi kailangan ng straight 8 hours. Number 4. Invest into yourself. If you listen to podcasts kung saan ini-interview yung mga successful na tao and they get asked, ano ang best investment na ginawa mo? Alam mo ang lagi nilang sagot? 
my best investment is investing into myself. Sabi nga nila, tipidin mo ng lahat, pagkain man yan, shoes o clothing, pero huwag kang magtitipid pagdating sa personal development mo. You can invest on yourself by learning new skills, reading books, or taking a course that's worth 25,000 pesos. At yung mga natutuwa mo na yan, use that to your advantage para pataasin ang income mo, possibly from 30,000 a month to 50,000 a month. Kaya huwag mang hinayang sa gagastusin mo yun to level up yourself. You're thinking short term na naman eh. Remember, we have to think long term. Yang investment mo sa sarili mo, for sure, you'll enjoy the returns later. Number five, start investing. Okay, now, this is where things really start to happen. This is what made a lot of millionaires in the world. May mga ilang ways to start investing. Para sa akin, it's real estate. I invested on a property in the Philippines and I, I bought a house here in New Zealand na plan namin iparin in the future. Ito mga property na ito generates additional income at tumataas ang value over time. So it's a win for me. Hindi naman lahat gusto gawin ng real estate so pwede ka mag-start ng negosyo or ang pinakakomo na ginagawa ng karamihan ay ang pag-invest sa stock market. I'm not saying na maging day trader ka to buy and sell stocks. Ang kailangan mong gawin ay mag-invest consistently like weekly or monthly. As an example, ako at ang aking fiancé invest on S&P 500 every week. Let's say 1,000 pesos a week. Tapos hindi namin pinapansin. Para lang kaming nag-iipon. And imagine this. S&P 500 has an average return of 10% a year. So, magkano na lang ang return sa amin after 10 years? Or 20 years? Hindi na masama, di ba? Kaya importante that you invest early because the more time you're investing, the more time your money will work for you. And the more time it will multiply. Kung marami kang natutunan sa aming video at gusto mong ma-achieve ang financial success, make sure to subscribe sa aming channel for more videos like this. Bye, see you on my next video.